The world's largest battery company, CATL, says that sodium ion batteries are likely the future of the industry. They're cheaper, they have some advantages, and there is still one little problem. Energy density is lower than lithium. However, new discoveries say that that's about to change. In fact, there was a new discovery yesterday. An Indian company says that their solids, says that their sodium ion EV battery achieves 3,000 plus charging cycles and can charge to 80% in six minutes. Sodium ion batteries appear to be improving at a much faster pace than even lithium. A major research company in Germany is working on sodium ion solid state batteries, which they say have the potential for up to 100 times greater energy density than today's batteries, which seems insane. But even if there, even if this isn't realistic and the energy density is only 10 times greater than today's batteries, this would completely change the entire planet. We'd be looking at the, the end of fossil fuels in terms of use in traffic and in terms of use for aviation or transportation. Really, ultimately, internal combustion would be dead within the case, probably within the space of one or two years. There are so many companies working on solid state batteries so many that it's or it'd always be difficult to name them all in one single video however a one particular company has a solid state battery that apparently could boost energy density by 40 percent over rivals which is a pretty staggering number hello my friends welcome to the channel i'm sam evans you're watching the electric viking traditional lithium-ion batteries energy density is good but is it enough to do things like, you know, replace batteries in or well, replace airplanes, turn them into going from internal combustion to electric? Ferries, for example, ferries now are going electric because the weight of the battery doesn't matter so much. But for some, some purposes, solid state batteries are what I think we actually need. Researchers at the Federal Institute of Materials Research and Testing, called BAM, are addressing the challenges of solid-state batteries by developing a novel solid electrolyte based on sodium superionic conductors called Nazicon to make solid-state batteries more powerful and suitable for everyday use. This solid electrolyte offers very high ionic conductivity at room temperatures and is more sustainable a more sustainable solution than lithium ion batteries the company says why well they are chemically stable when paired with potassium now apparently this battery uses liquid anodes that are showing energy performance 100 times greater than graphite but they require 250 degrees celsius to function which is a a problem that causes battery degradation this is what the company said in a study we were able to show that a liquid alkali metal anode is 100 times more powerful than conventional graphite anodes. This was actually said in Berlin by the, by the company themselves. And they went on to say, this technology can currently only be used at 250 degrees Celsius. Our goal is to transfer its advantages to room temperature. So basically these batteries primarily use potassium as an additive to lower the melting point of liquid alkali metal anodes, making it possible to harness their exceptional performance without requiring extreme heat. However, most conventional solid electrolytes break down when exposed to potassium, posing a major challenge for the researchers. Nazicon material is currently stabilized with hafnium, a rare and expensive element. BAM's research team led by guest scientist Gustav Graeber is now searching for alternative dopants that are just as effective but more sustainable and widely available. I mean, think about it. If you can increase energy density by 100 times, I mean, even if that's an exaggeration, even if it's only 10 times, you could basically put a, a, a 20 kilowatt hour size battery in a vehicle, which would be quite small, and get over 1,000 kilometers of range. I mean, that's the difference. Well over 1,000, maybe even 2,000. If successful, their work would help scale up sodium-based solid-state batteries that are safer, cheaper, and far more efficient, paving the way for new energy storage systems. And the truth is, yes, sodium is more abundant, it's cheaper than lithium, but it actually has some advantages over lithium as well. 
it often seems to, from actual laboratory tests, last for longer. Plus, it can handle extreme temperatures, extreme cold, much better than lithium can. So are sodium iron solid state batteries potentially the future of solid state batteries? Well, this is not the only company working on solid state sodium batteries. There's actually a few of them. One of them actually is in fact the biggest battery company in the world. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Bye-bye. One of the world's largest car manufacturers says that it has solid state batteries it plans to put in its electric cars very soon. In fact, next year. This is coming as quite a shock to a lot of people. I mean, not many, not many people knew that Hyundai had their own solid state batteries. Is this potentially actually Samsung solid state batteries they're talking about here? Well, apparently not. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Great to have you with us. Guys, if you'd like to, I highly recommend buying an EV. That's what this channel is all about. Getting solar installed. I have an Xpeng G6 and I charge my EV every day using solar from Resync Solar. I'll put a link in the description below. If you're in Australia, I recommend those two options. It saves you a lot of money. Now, Hyundai plans to launch a pilot production of game-changing EV batteries this year. Bit of a surprise. I mean, the big talkers, Toyota has been talking about solid state batteries relentlessly since 2012. They've said that they have pilot production solid state batteries ready in 2015, I think it was. They said that their EVs in 2018 would have solid state batteries. Hyundai just said nothing, very quiet. Nissan, big claims as well. Uh, Honda, big claims as well. But Hyundai just quietly was actually doing something rather than talking about it, it sounds like anyway, which is quite awesome. So what do we know about these batteries? Well, first of all, solid state batteries have the potential to have around 10 times higher energy density than traditional lithium ion batteries. Hyundai are accelerating their push into next generation electric vehicle technology. And if they do in fact have the solid state batteries that they say they do, then this is unquestionably a game changer for them because I'll be first to the first to market. To be fair though, Samsung, they are currently um, testing their solid state batteries in some different EVs from different manufacturers. They're on the roads today. So you may you will have options if you're a car maker to buy those batteries from Samsung. 